the snowboard department and away! Here we are in the snowboard department where I feel most alive and most at home. The snowboard department here at Comor Whistler. All right guys, hey, what's up? It's me Andreas from Comor Sports here in Whistler, Canada. And tonight we're talking about the Now Bindings. Now Bindings were designed here in Whistler, BC by JF Pelchat himself, who's a Whistler local and one of the original Wildcat team members. If you guys don't know, the Wildcats were this team of snowboarders that originated at Mount Seymour and then graduated to Whistler. They became this awesome, partying, hardcore, rock and roll, punk rock crew of guys. They were just the talk of the town. Everybody knew who they were. Some of the most famous Wildcats include Devin Walsh, JF Pelchat, Chris Brown, Kale Stevens. Everyone wanted to ride with them. Everybody wanted to party with them. They were epic legends back in the day. Nowadays, JF is a little bit older, but he saw an opportunity to change the binding world. One of JF's sort of critiques to the binding industry was that the original binding technology hasn't actually changed too much and no one's done anything crazy or new or anything that was really considered groundbreaking since the donning of bindings. So JF wanted to design his own brand of bindings that utilizes a very specific core technology. All now bindings utilize what they call skate tech technology. And that's that moving fulcrum in the middle of the binding here. What it's designed to do is emulate the way that skateboard trucks feel when you're riding a skate deck. You can imagine when you're riding a skateboard, you're on that deck and you're leaning in and out of your turns and the trucks underneath the board that are connected to the wheels then engage the turn based off of how much you lean into them. Skate tech technology is designed to achieve a similar effect. You can imagine you've got this moving fulcrum here between your feet. It's hard to show you guys how much it's moving there. There it goes. You can see here when I flip it around, this piece actually hinges back and forth. When you look at the underside of the binding, you can see that there's four rubberized elastomers that sit on all four corners of the binding. What this is designed to do is when you lean forward or backwards on that skate tech technology, all of your weight is displaced to either the front two elastomers or the back two elastomers. When you do this, it's designed to then deliver all of your weight and all of the pressure coming down from your feet directly to the edges of the board. On a normal snowboard binding, and you have your disc sitting right in the middle of the binding, when you're bringing the board onto edge, you're literally pulling the board up onto edge from that center point. So all of that torque comes from the center disc versus with now bindings, because of the skate tech technology, when you lean forward, the fulcrum displaces all of your weight to the front two elastomers on the binding. And what that then does is instead of the binding pulling the board onto edge, it's now pressing the board onto edge. So you get way more direct pressure, direct energy delivered to the edges of your binding. So instead of all of your power coming from the midpoint at the disc, you're now applying all of that weight and pressure forwards or backwards directly to the edges of the board. What that does is it gives you faster energy transmission to your edges so these bindings feel very lively and because you're getting more pressure or more direct weight directly to the edges I find that you get way better edge control as well so I can really lay in a nice hard arcing carve and I can feel very confident knowing that all of my pressure and weight and power is going directly to those edges which gives me really good edge control. The cool thing about the now bindings too is that you can really customize their feel based off of how you change these rubberized elastomers. The binding will actually come with a specific bushing, either a soft, a medium, or a hard bushing. And then you can always change it up. They sell the bushing separately. So you can put a stiff bushing on or a soft bushing on, and you can really customize the way that you want the binding to feel underfoot. The stiffer bushing, it's definitely more firm. It's more aggressive. It 
delivers the fastest energy transmission versus the softer elastomers are more forgiving feeling and they allow a little bit more travel in the skate tech technology. And therefore you get a little bit more of that forgiving feel, more compliant, does more of the work for you. I remember my first time actually trying them was at a demo day. And like a lot of people out there, I was a Burton Cartel user. So I'd used cartels for maybe the last 15 years of my snowboarding career and had always sort of gone back to that binding just as a great all-rounder go-to binding. And uh, yeah, there was a demo tent. There was sort of a buzz going around. People were talking about these new bindings to try that had this new technology called Skate Tech. I remember trying them out and being like, oh yeah, like these are good. I think that they're pretty good. I don't know if I feel a huge difference though. And so I wasn't sure if I like really noticed a massive change between these bindings and my cartels. And I think what happened was I ended up riding them for about a day, sort of felt them out, didn't really know what I thought of them. And then at the end of the day, I switched back to my old Burton cartels and oh my God, they felt dead in comparison. So I guess what I noticed about the skate tech technology is that I didn't necessarily feel it right off the bat until I went back to my old bindings and did that direct comparison. And yeah, like I said, my old bindings after the fact felt way less lively. They felt way less energetic and responsive in comparison to the now bindings. And I accredit it all to that skate tech technology. The skate tech technology, in addition to emulating the way that a skateboard truck feels, gives you all kinds of extra benefits. One of the things that I noticed it does is because there's that slight moving fulcrum in between your feet, the bindings do all of these micro adjustments for you, especially when you're on a tricky situation like a long flat cat track. Here in Whistler on Black Home, we have a very long flat cat track that goes all the way out to seventh heaven. And I noticed that once I started using the now bindings with the skate tech, all of those little micro adjustments that you would otherwise be making with a normal snowboard with a normal set of bindings, now the bindings were doing it for me. So that translated to a lot less foot fatigue and it also translates to a binding that's incredibly energetic and responsive feeling when you're carving. So when you're going fast and you're carving on your board, you can imagine these bindings really give you that energetic response going back and forth, toe to heel, toe to heel, and you get really good lively turns when you're using one of these bindings. All right, so moving into the IPO. This guy here is their initial product offering. This was the original now binding. This is where it all started. And this is their bread and butter here. The IPO is a great all mountain category freestyle binding. You can still take it everywhere, but it is definitely going to excel in the park. They call it about a six out of 10 flex. I think that I would say it's maybe more like a five out of 10 flex for what exists out there. Softer, more compliant, definitely really good for that park feel when you're uh, riding freestyle. You can see here, one of the awesome things about the ankle strap on this is that it's a one piece injected UVA strap. So this material here, they call it a Sieva strap. It's a one piece mold and there's no stitching corrugations. Stitches aren't gonna come out of it. There's not gonna be any material fraying apart. The ankle straps are super lightweight and very durable because they're made from a one piece single unit. Very comfortable ankle strap. It's definitely got some pliability to it. Really gonna fit nice and spongy on your boot and feel very comfortable. That lightweight ankle strap is great for freestyle use because it makes for a binding that is nice and light and nimble feeling. The base tray on this guy is nylon with a 30% fiberglass. The 30% fiberglass makes it lighter, firmer, and gives the binding a little bit of flex to it as well, which is really good for getting better board flex. There's toolless adjustability on these bindings. So you just pop this thing open here, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and you can switch your ankle strap location around fairly easily. And that's great for the person who might switch their boards around on the hill with a friend. Maybe you ride with a couple of buddies and halfway through the day, your bud's like, yo man, let me try your board. I wanna see what it feels like. You're like, cool, no problem. Toolless adjustability, easy to move the ankle straps into any location. So really quick and easy to get this thing customized to any boot. They've upgraded the buckles. Back in the day, they had an issue where if the buckle broke, it kind of just hung loose. Now these buckles are designed with an extra spring inside. They will always stay clasped. 
They're definitely more durable. And overall, you can see that it's a very fast moving ratchet, nice and fluid, really easy to get on and off. Minimalist toe cap design in there. Uh, definitely not the most comfortable toe cap on the market, but one of the lightest toe caps on the market. So very minimalistic. And again, that light weightedness is great for being in the air, doing tricks, getting rotations. Yeah, so the IPO is for the person who's looking for an all mountain freestyle inspired binding, a medium flex, a little bit more on the compliant side, great for laying in presses, great for loading ollies, a good all rounder for sure. The IPO comes with medium bushings, so right down the center of the line, you got a really nice medium response out of these guys, not too stiff, not too soft, just a good in the middle sort of feel. And like I said, you can always take these bushings off and replace them with either the firmer or the softer bushings to sort of change the feel of the binding depending on how you want it. All right, guys, next we get into the Now Pilot. I would say that this binding is like a direct competitor to something like a Burton Cartel, for example. It's about a seven out of 10 flex, so it's a little bit firmer than the IPO. This is more for that person looking for an all mountain category binding that's capable in the park, but is slightly more hard charging. When you look at the Pilot, this one now comes with their hard bushings. So you get a little bit of a stiffer feel, a little bit more performance driven. The base tray has the same nylon with a 30% carbon fiber additive, nice and lightweight, definitely powerful and responsive. And that nylon still allows the binding to flex on your board, which gives you better board feel, less of a dead spot. You can see here the Pilot has a slightly more robust strap, a little bit wider, more plush as well. This guy is not a one piece injected mold ankle strap. It does have stitching corrugations. So it's a little bit more of that classic feel. The cool thing about this strap is that it's actually flippable. You can take this ankle strap, take it off of this side, flip it around and put it on the other binding and it changes the way that the ankle strap then feels on the boot. You can imagine the way that it is right now offers a little bit more support downwards on the boot versus if it's flipped and you get more up here, it makes the ankle strap feel firmer. So you got a few different customizations out of this binding with the flippable strap. You can see when you look at this high back, in comparison to the high back of the IPO, it definitely comes up a little bit taller. So it's a more supportive high back. And when you have a taller high back, it just naturally feels firmer. So that's part of where that addition of firmness is coming in. And then you can also see they put this flex hinge on the actual high back. And what that does is it allows the bindings high back to just flex back or hinge back just slightly. And that reduces calf bite. So you don't have to worry about the high back here pushing into the back of your boot causing unwanted pressure in the calf muscle. Another cool thing to mention quickly is in years prior, there weren't these little snow channels here in the heel cup. These little two holes holes on the side of the heel cup are designed to eject snow when you push that high back down. So yeah guys, that's the Pilot. Definitely an upgrade from the IPO. Not as soft as the IPO, a little bit firmer, more for that big mountain guy or for the person who wants to go a little bit faster, charge a little bit harder. I would say that this binding is still great for the park, just maybe more for big jumps or for the heavier set individual. All right, next up is the Now Drive. This is the one that I'm most excited to talk about because this is the binding that I use myself. I've had about five pairs of the Now Drive and this thing is a solid bulletproof all mountain Whistler charging binding. I love this binding. This is the binding that I go to year after year and last year I actually bought two of them just because I wanted that quick versatility between them. I had one on my LibTech Orca and then I had another one on my Jones Mind Expander. So I really love this binding and I think that it's a great binding for Whistler. You know, when we talk about a binding brand that's been developed in Whistler by JF Pelchat, by a local, this binding is a testament to that. You know, I really think that this is a great binding for Whistler. It's a great free ride binding for the kind of riding that I do. When you look at the Now Drive, you're getting into a firmer category, more free ride driven binding. It's an eight out of 10 flex, and it definitely feels more stout and more burly than either the IPO or the Pilot. These guys here, once I've got them on, I feel like it's almost like a catcher's mitt wrapping my boot. They feel super secure. You get a lot of performance out of these guys, and they're perfect for the kind of riding that I do. You know, backcountry, trees, powder, steeps. These things are super responsive. 
These things are like taking your car and putting a brand new sports car engine in it. They really do help activate the most responsivity out of your board. So I can really take my board to the next level when I use one of the now drives. You can see here they've gone back to their single EVA mold injected ankle strap. And that ankle strap is designed to be A, lightweight, and B, extremely durable. There's no stitching corrugations in this thing to fray apart, so it lasts a long time. You can see here when I flex into the strap, it is slightly firmer than the other two in the lineup, so you get more of that robust feel. And just like the Pilot, it also has flippable straps. So you can take this one off, flip it upside down, put it on the adjacent binding, and it's going to make for a customized feel. Fun little tidbit of information for you guys. Jeremy Jones actually owns a portion of Now Bindings, and when he started his own brand of bindings, he used the patent of skate tech technology and put it in the Jones bindings as well. So he really believes in this technology, and this binding used to be called the Drive by JJ, because it used to be Jeremy Jones's pro model before he moved to his own binding brand. I've uh, used this binding quite a bit, and over the years, it's just gotten better and better. It's nice and lightweight, it's super firm and powerful. It's about an eight out of 10 flex, and I like this guy over the Overdrive, which is the model up in the line, because I like having still a traditional high back. I don't like carbon fiber high backs. I feel like they're kind of brittle and they're not as uh, classic feeling. I really like the high back on the drive as well. They call it their calf back binding. And as you can see, it's sort of got this rotated wing sort of portion to the binding. And what that does is it just naturally gives you a more intuitive feel when you're leaning back and forth on the binding. You know exactly where your boot is. It's really good for getting that extra feel out of your high back. I feel like it adds an extra element of steerability to the binding. Just like with all the other ones, you get that toolless adjustability on all of your straps. This binding comes with the hard bushings specifically for, you know, that more responsive, energetic feel. Better for the guy who's heavier or for the guy that just wants that direct energy responsiveness. You can see it's got a nice rounded toe cap on it, really wraps the boot nicely. Really cool to call out these new carbon buckles as well. All of the same improvements that they've made with their normal buckles in the Buckle 2.0 system, but these guys are made out of a forged carbon, so they're super lightweight, and uh, I think they look really cool too. The glide on these things is pretty smooth as well. This is the binding that I sold Kevin this year. So Kevin from Snowboard Pro Camp is using the Now Drives this season. He was like, dude, what's the best binding in the shop? What would you use? And I'm like, dude, you gotta try the Now Drives. I've had five pairs of these suckers. I swear by them. This is a great all-rounder category binding for the person that prefers free ride. You know, I don't really go in the park that much. I'm not really a jib kid. I wanna go ride steeps, trees, powder, and I want to carve hard. If that's you, then the Now Drive is a wicked binding to go for. Next up, we've got the Now Collab with Yes. So if you guys don't know, Yes snowboards are also designed up here in BC. And what's cooler than getting two local brands together, Now Bindings, Yes snowboards, this is the Now Yes team binding. This is what the team riders on Yes use. You can see it's got that big Yes branding on the back. And it's a pretty cool all-rounder, all-mountain category binding. It's got similar elements from a few different bindings uh, in the lineup. You can see it's sharing the same flex hinge high back as the Pilot, but using the single injection molded ankle straps from the IPO. Unlike the IPO, it's also got the upgraded buckles on it. So now you've got the Carbon Buckle 2.0 on the ankle strap as well, which makes makes it even lighter, and it has the same toe caps as the Pilot, their 3D contour toe strap. Pretty cool toe strap on that one there, completely made out of that rubberized material, it says now on the toe strap, and it's designed so that it can wrap around the toe of most boots, so you're gonna drive it back at that 45 degree angle, or you can just have it uh, clamped down vertically as well if you're more of that traditionalist. So the Now Yes collab, this is the binding of choice for the Yes team. Their little uh, slogan is, if it's good enough for DCP, it's good enough for you. So DCP is another local from the Yes team that lives here in Whistler. He uses this binding as well. So there's a lot of value here in the Yes collab. It's a really cool binding on our wall. 
You can see that Yes logo stands out really nice on the high back and it's loaded with features. It's already got the screws on for their kingpin attachment and that way it's easy to switch boards really quickly if you want to have your one pair of bindings on multiple boards, which is definitely something that the Yes team probably will be doing, switching around boards. This is a great binding to do a little bit of everything. It's a 6 out of 10 flex. All mountain inspired, but definitely freestyle driven. Still a great binding to take freestyle all over the mountain. It's got their Hanger 1.0, so a little bit of a tighter heel on this guy. You can imagine it's just a slightly narrower heel pocket. It's gonna really grip the ankle. It's gonna really give that performance tight fit. Definitely better for a modern boot. You don't want anything too chunky in the back of this. Otherwise, you're gonna get some friction or some rub. It's got their medium bushings, so you get that really good all-rounder feel. Not too soft, not too stiff. Really just nice in the middle. Good for doing a little bit of everything. Overall, really excited to be carrying this collaboration this season. It's one of our coolest findings on the wall. I think that it just looks really classic. It's good enough for DCP, then it's good enough for you. Now we've got the Now Veta. The Veta is a very similar concept to the IPO. It utilizes their same single molded injection ankle straps and the same lightweight toe cap. It's made as a five out of 10, so a little bit softer than the IPO. And that's kind of apparent when you look at the high back. It's a little bit of a lower high back, so definitely more compliant, a little bit more forgiving feeling. You get lots of range of motion out of this high back, and it still has that flex hinge to it as well, so it's designed to ease calf bite, which is important. This guy is utilizing their nylon base tray, but this time, instead of using a 30% fiberglass, it's only a 15% fiberglass and that's to give it a little bit of a softer, more compliant feel. When you look at the Veta, about a five out of 10 flex, specifically for ladies, the Veta comes with the soft bushings. So the rubber elastomers on the bottom here are the softest flexing. So you imagine you get a lot of range of motion out of these and they're very forgiving feeling. So you get a lot of compliancy. And the Veta also has their Hanger 1.0, so a little bit of a narrower heel cup on this guy as well. And that's just to accommodate women's specific boots. You can imagine ladies' boots typically are narrower than a men's, so having that Hanger 1.0 shape just really gives you that nice grip when you're looking at a ladies' specific boot. Great for that person who's looking for an all-mountain binding, but it excels in the park. All right, next up in the line is the ladies' Conda. This guy is a more performance driven binding for the lady rider who knows what she's doing, for that girl who likes to charge. Similar type of flex and feel as the Pilot. It's about a seven out of 10 in their overall feel category. On the firmer side, more responsive. Great for that person who's looking for a more advanced, aggressive binding. We've got that flex hinge high back which is designed to still give you all of that rigidity and firmness that you're looking for vertically. But that little bit of a hinge there is designed to reduce calf bite. So you don't need to worry about this thing digging into your calf too hard, especially when you're landing a jump. It's got their 3D contour toe strap. So you can see that rubberized material in the toe strap is designed to really wrap around the toe of your boot, driving you back at a 45 degree angle. And then just like in the drive, it's got those carbon forged buckles. So a higher end buckle, lighter weight, and definitely more durable as well. Full one piece mold injected ankle strap here. So again, super lightweight and also very durable being that there's no stitching corrugations. There's no foam in the ankle strap. These guys still give you a lot of rebound. They still feel nice and plush as well. They feel really comfortable on your boots. When you look at the Conda, they come with the medium bushings. More of an all-rounder, you know, you get more of that mid-flex feel out of these bindings. But like I said before, you can switch them out at any time. And I've actually even customized my bindings. If you guys know what canting is, it means that the binding is slightly leaned in one way or the other. JF said that he doesn't really believe in canting and he doesn't think that it's necessarily good for the knees, but he said that if you want, you can take these inner bushings and make sure that you're using like the soft bushing or the medium bushing on the inside. And then on the outside of the binding, you can put the harder bushings so that you almost get a little bit of a canted feel to them where the inside is softer than the outside. You can imagine there's a lot to play around with here. You can really customize the way that the binding feels under your foot by changing the elastomer bushings. We actually sell the elastomer bushings separately uh, in little packets uh, and they only cost five bucks. So they're a really good deal and they're a great way to customize your now bindings. 
All right, guys, so that's it for the now bindings. They're definitely one of my favorite bindings to use. And like I said, I've used like five pairs of the now drives over the last few years. So definitely one of my top recommendations when people come into the store looking for a great Whistler binding. And they're also the binding that Kevin's using from Snowboard Pro Camp this season. So really excited to get him on these bindings as well. All right, guys, so if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We're growing every day and we're making new videos. Definitely a couple a week I wanna get out. Getting super excited for the season and uh, we're seeing lots of precipitation already in the forecast. So it's looking like it should be good. If you want to come and check out the Now Bindings, come on into Comore Sports Whistler here on Main Street. You can come in and check out all the bindings, all the different boards. We can talk shop and figure out exactly which ones are best for you. You know, when I buy bindings, I will often bring the boot that I'm using into the store so that I can put that boot into the binding and therefore make sure that it fits correctly. And yeah, guys, if you're not in the Whistler area, then check out comoresports.com. You can see all of this stuff on our website and it's all purchasable there as well. All right, guys, that's it, that's all. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come on into Comor, check out these boards, check out these bindings. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Andreas Schubert Snowboard Channel. Woohoo! <laughs>